Hey guys, I'm Greg Builds, and I'll show you some useful Minecraft tips that you might not already know. Tip number one, candles can be made by using a piece of honeycomb and string, which can also be placed on top of cakes, and they can be lit using a flint and steel, and they can be extinguished by clicking on the candle. Tip number two, a glow squid can be found in underwater caves or deep ocean areas. And glow squids can drop glow ink sacs. And these can be used for making a number of items, such as glowing item frames. And here's the difference between a glowing item frame and a regular item frame. And you can also use glow ink sacs to make glowing text in your signs. Tip number three. Drinking milk after a cave spider attack can remove the poison. And milk can be harvested using a bucket on a cow. Tip number four. Adding a hay bale underneath your campfire creates twice as much smoke than a regular campfire, which is helpful if you're using it as a landmark to locate your base. Tip number five. A smoker can cook food two times faster than a regular furnace. Tip number six. Golden apples and golden carrots give the most nourishment value in the game than any other food. Tip number seven. A target is made from hay bales and four redstone dust. Tip number eight, you can collect fish by using a water-filled bucket. Tip number nine, cows follow you if you hold wheat. Pigs follow you if you hold carrots. Chickens follow while holding seeds. Sheep follow while holding wheat. And turtles follow you when holding seagrass. It's just very slow. Tip number 10, wolves will attack other mobs and players. However, they can be tamed and they can be your pet. But in order to tame wolves, you need to feed them bones. And they'll follow you around once they're tamed. Tip number 11, cats shows you run from a player. However, by holding raw cod or salmon, a stray cat will allow a player to feed them. Tip number 12, pumpkins can be carved using shears. And a carved pumpkin can be used as a helmet, which will cause endermen to ignore you. And you can walk past them without getting attacked, but it also does lower your visibility. Now carved pumpkins can also be used as jack-o'-lanterns by adding a torch. And carved pumpkins can also create iron golems. And these will help protect your villages. Also, pumpkins can be turned into snow golems as well. Tip number 13. You can use old tools and leftover building supplies in your furnaces, as it's a great way to clear up your chest space without having to waste them and throw them away, as you could turn them into fuel. Tip number 14. Flowers, seeds, and crops can be used as compost to make bone meal. Tip number 15. Green dye can be made by cactus placed in a furnace. Also, lime green dye can be made by placing a sea pickle in a furnace. And brown dye can be made from cocoa beans. Tip number 16. Scaffolding looks cool as a dining room table. Tip number 17. A torch can be used to break gravel. Tip number 18. A picture can be used to hide a secret room. Tip number 19. A lava bucket in a furnace is one of the most fuel-efficient fuels, as it can smelt 100 items, and you get to keep your bucket, 
so you can refill your bucket with lava, which is a great way to save your coal supply. Tip number 20. Sheep can be dyed a number of colors. Tip number 21. If you create a custom banner, it's a pain to have to duplicate that same exact banner in the loom. An easier way to do that is to take that custom banner you just made and put it in a crafting table. Then take blank banners and put them in the crafting table as well. And you can duplicate that same banner. And the best part of this is it won't use any extra dye. So you can save your dye. And you can make the same banner without having to go through the same process as the one you just made. Tip number 22. Using bone meal will speed up plant growth as well as trees and grass. Tip 23. A door placed underwater can give you a pocket of air. Also, placing sugarcane underwater will give you the same effect, which is great for underwater exploring when you need to recharge your air supply. Tip 24. If you use bone meal on a flower, it will duplicate that flower. And this is a great method of getting more flowers without having to destroy the aesthetic of your landscaping. Tip number 25. Mobs will not cross over rails. But they can be pushed across by a player. But they will not cross the rail on their own, which makes adding this railway around your base an extra security layer. Tip 26. When copper blocks start to oxidize, you can remove the oxidization by using an axe. Now, if you want to preserve your copper right from the start, you can treat your copper using honeycomb. And this will prevent the oxidization. And it'll keep it that nice color that you like. Also, you can always remove the honeycomb wax by using an axe. And the oxidization process will start again. Tip 27. A quick way to put armor on is to use three pressure plates and six dispensers. and put one piece of armor in each dispenser. Then when you run across the pressure plates, all your equipment will be on you. And that way you don't have to stop and put on your armor, which is great if you suddenly have a mob inside your village that you need to take care of. Tip 28. A player cannot jump over a fence. However, if you put carpet on top, you can easily jump over the fence. And this will work great for animal pens. And that way you don't have to worry about animals running out of your pens when you open the gates. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know which tip was most useful for you.